Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, we're going to look at the newly launched registry, you know, from model context protocol. It's a community driven registry service for the MCP servers, right? You would have seen thousands of MCP servers, right? So far. And now, you know, we, we knew that there's a need of a registry, right? And that's how a community driven registry service has launched named registry. And I have built an UI interface that will help us, you know, search right through those API. So let's have a look at here, right? So if you look at on my screen, this is what I have built named MCP registry. It says discover and explore MCP servers. Now, this is based on this particular repository that you see here, you know, of course, from model context protocol uh, registry, right? And it has gone viral. It's launched recently. You can look at the update over here. I know it's in preview mode right now. Uh, that helps you find out a lot of servers that is available, you know, within this registry. You can also, you know, publish your own server and make it available through the registry. Not exactly a marketplace, but a very community-driven, you know, uh, registry that we have here. So, for example, let's say, uh, you know, by default, if you look at this guy here, Gmail, it says read emails send messages and manage labels in your gmail account and if you look at here right ai way stations gmail published eight days ago updated eight days ago you know it gives you the repositories github repositories we are fetching the both streamable http and ssa right uh, that how you know you can install it uh, how you can use this server wherever you are using uh, an mcp client or a host right and you can find out more you can also search by default, you see this. Let's say you can also search about Gmail. You know, you can look at the Gmails that we have. I just saw you the way station one, ai.waystation. You can also search com.mintmcp. When you click here, you can find out the details that you have here, right, for each MCP server. And this will be open source. I'm going to make this, of course, this interface that we have open source also. Uh, the registry is, of course, open source that you see it over here. While I am building this, you know building this app or i'm recording this app there is no such user interface that i have come across so uh that's something i will i'll share that with you of my github now before that i also want to you know introduce rube here in this video rube where you have more than 500 plus tools integrations and rube is fantastic because you know that works with you know chat gpt cloud desktop cursor vs code all these agentic ides it works with mcp url so let's say you also have your own mcp setup you can also do that it also goes very well with nitn and other uh you know platforms now you can see i already have integrated rube rube in my cloud here so let's say i ask use rube to get my last github repo name it says i will help you find your latest github repository uh you know of course this this is probably this is not how you should write it like yeah it's no it has to write it because it's using rube okay as a tool so if you look at here it's you just the rube search tools uh you know it, it you just multi-execute tool and it fetches the right answer uh it can see it says ai agents in action this is my last repository on my github because i have connected my github uh using rube because rube supports more than 500 tools that you can use you can see it says start using 500 plus apps with Ruby in Cloud Desktop. Now it supports both Cloud Desktop free plans and Max, which of course Max plans, Pro plans, and all these plans that you use. So what you have to do, you have to copy this in case of Cloud Desktop if you want, and make sure you install, uh, you know, install that. So if you look at here, I'm using, of course. Uh, by the way, it's built on Composio. Composio you would have seen before, right? It's a fantastic tool that helps you connect with thousands of tools, right? Now. Here, if you see NPX, Composio, MCP, Latest, Setup, blah, 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 and the client uh, as Claude. And it will install like this. It will give you this details. And once that is done, just restart the Claude for change to take the effect. And that's it. You don't have to do anything else. You will have Roof access, you know, within your Claude desktop. So you can do a lot of things with that. So Roof is fantastic, guys. Check it out, right? You know, you can see, if you look at their marketplace, you will find you know, hundreds of tools here like Gmail, GitHub. I already have you know integrated with GitHub. You can do you know Slack, you can do with Notion and whatnot, which is fantastic. So check out Rube. I'll give the link in description. Really happy the way it's moving, right? If you look at the marketplace, I'll find out everything here. You have installation thing I just shown you. So just go and log in here uh, on, on Rube as well. 
So you can see, use Rube across 500 plus apps, right? And you also do, hey Rube, can you check your email and so on and so forth, and it will check it. All right, so MCP registry, right? We talked about this one, uh, MCP registry, you can find out uh, all the interesting server here. Let's say I do YouTube, you can find out all the servers which are available. If you look at this, it says MCP YouTube. When you click on this, it gives you the details that they have. Whatever details is available, you can find it out here, which is fantastic. Now, here we are getting these servers by default. Of course, it makes the API call. Uh, you know, you can do, uh, you can you can fetch more. You know, I'm just working on it right now, but you can fetch more servers here. Now, how are we doing it? Here is the code. I'm going to give you the code. So just take the code and check it out. Enhance this code further. Okay, uh, that's I keep, uh, uh, you know, I give it to you to use it. But uh, you can look at the backend here. We have our backend in Fast API. It's called MCP Server Registry Search. And then we have this MCP registry over here as an user interface. That's what it is, right? And here is the GitHub repository. If you want to know, if you want to publish your own MCP server, you can also publish your own MCP server. See, this is how you can do it. Complete guide to publish an MCP server to the registry what you will learn and so on and so forth. This is fantastic guys, right? This is very still in the early phases, but yeah, this is worth exploring because you need a registry, right? Registry is very important. It was announced a few months back uh, itself. Uh, it was on the roadmap and now it's done. So check it out. I'll give this link in description and also check out Rube and let me know what you think about this new development that has been done in the MCP space, right? This is what I wanted to create guys in this video. Look at the GitHub repo, right, for MCP registry. Make a pull request. Let's contribute and, you know, take this forward. So if you have any further questions on this, right, let me know in the comment box. You can also reach out to me through my social media channel. Find those channel, uh, you know, find those details on channel description and channel about us. If you have, you know, any other questions, you can also reach out to me through my email as well. Find those email on my website and also in this video description. If you like the video, hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in your future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.